I love great conversations. Hi, my name is Angel Jones. Thank you for joining me on 12 Minute Convos, where I help you create a brand of your own unique real self. Listen in as I have conversations with amazing people from all over the world. Good night, good night, Pooja Tulasara. Good night. I like your name. Please say your name for us, please. It's Pooja Talisara. There we go. Hey, how are you doing on this wonderful, beautiful night? Uh, it's right now morning for me in <laughs> Singapore. <laughs> yeah, it's funny how that works, right? <laughs> yeah. <so> it... <laughs> That's great. What part so of doing, Singapore are you in? Doing my different. Um. I'm at the east coast of Singapore, right. and today is sunny out here. It's wonderful. Well, that's wonderful to hear. Now, do tell us, Pooja, which of your talents is responsible for us connecting at this time? Thank you. So, I'm an uh, HR professional with interest in talent management and development, and been doing uh, coaching and counselling. I'm currently dabbling with um, podcasts. So I think uh, it's the human aspect of my profession and passion which uh, brings me your connect. Yeah, most definitely. Now, do tell us about your dabble in podcasting. Okay. So, in podcast, uh, I've been doing, uh, I've been trying to create the knowledge bank for the end users. Um, on the topics like stress management and currently I'm doing something on leadership uh, we're in uh, interviewing leaders across the globe and um, trying to dissect the various aspects of leadership Ooh, how has that impacted your life Super. it's been awesome uh, it's been a great learning and inspiration uh, inspiration you know uh, the inspiration what you get when you're interviewing leaders across and uh, on the experiential level as well it has been great that's wonderful now that you've done that why will you continue to repeat these skills puja of bringing what's necessary via the podcasting uh, so uh, so what's your question can you please sure, uh, sure. It? sure why will you continue to repeat this skill Okay, why will I continue to repeat the skill is um, because I think it's awesome when you create the knowledge bank for the end users. Um, as a coach, uh, I feel that, you know, not everyone can reach out for coaching. So this is a step of creating awareness, helping people acknowledge and then helping them take action. That's wonderful. Well, do tell us where's the best place for us to connect with you and to find out more of what you do. Uh, the best place would be on my LinkedIn uh, profile on my timelines. Uh, whenever there's any podcast coming up or whenever I'm doing something, there's always an update out there. Wonderful. And what's one other thing you've done consistently over the last three years? That's uh, a wonderful question. It's quite a reflective question. So over the last three years, uh, I have been continuously setting goals and my aim is to every year to be a better version of myself, be it physically, um, be it mentally, or be it in my skills. How does that make, how does that make you feel? Um, sorry? Uh, sure, how does that make you feel? Yeah, it makes me feel awesome because whenever you're setting a goal and when you have accomplished something, so it makes one feel uh, awesome about it. Yeah, I can definitely hear that on the top of your voice. You sound very exciting about what you do. Yes, yes, because, you know, um, physically, when I said, like, uh, I had gained some around, like, um, 30 plus kgs, and I, I was able to lose it. Wow. And, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, um, and even I've been taking further studies, and I've been doing what I'm passionate about. So, yes, it makes one feel awesome. When you set goals and you have been able to accomplish those. <laughs> yeah, most definitely. Now, what's your first language, Buja? So, my first language, uh, 
is uh, Hindi, Marwari. I come from India, a, pla um, a place called Rajasthan is my hometown. In Rajasthan, it is um, Jodhpur. And how did you get to Singapore? What are you doing up on that side? <laughs> so in Singapore, uh, it's my spouse, <laughs> which brings me here. So my spouse is on his um, deputation. Uh, has been here, so that's how I have accompanied him here. <laughs> yeah, that's wonderful. Wow, you're an adventurer, aren't you? Yeah, it's it's a wonderful place, um, and knowing people, and it gives a good uh, experience, you know, culturally, and uh, so yeah, I've been like really enjoying. Yeah, that's wonderful. Well, Pooja, let's uh, switch gears for a moment now and let me invite you into my time machine that is surrounded with beautiful, warm, blue Caribbean water. Pooja, what is your earliest childhood wow. memory? Uh, there are many, but... Uh, okay, I was a very naughty child and if I need to pick up one of them, it is uh, when I had participated in a fancy dress competition um, and I had a broken arm. And I was representing my school, <laughs> so that that was uh, that was a very funny thing. That how I really managed it. I changed the entire dialogue when I went to the stage. <laughs> <laughs> so how how old were you at that time? Oh, I was around somewhere around seven years old. Yeah. Wow. How do you see that memory connecting to who you are today? Um. Uh, I'm much confident even today the way I was that time yeah. and uh, as I told you like I changed the dialogue when I went to the stage to just um, gel in with my broken arm so I was rep representing the Petroid uh, so yeah I'm same I'm confident uh, today and I try to make the best out of whatever situations I am in <laughs> so say slowly what you were saying one more time you would you so your hands were broken right and then you put yeah. what petrol what did you put on your hand no uh, so my hand is broken and i was representing uh, a patriotic uh, leader so when i went to the stage i changed the entire dialogue uh, just to gel in uh, with my state that time and i went ahead uh, winning the award so which was something very good so I think we're not understanding too well right I want to ensure that everyone is understanding what I am understanding is that you were naughty first of all right yes <laughs> yes very naughty right so all right so so tell us one more time and do go slowly you're sp you're speaking really quickly <laughs> because yeah. you're excited right <laughs> Yeah, and I'm trying to even match up with your 12-minute conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about that. <laughs> You're good, right? All right, so go one more time. Tell us. So you broke your hand, sure. and, and then now you're on stage, and go ahead. So I had broken my hand. I was on stage, and I was representing a patriotic leader. A, petro okay, so a patriotic, been... okay, a patriotic yeah. leader. Wonderful, yeah. right? So you are representing and a patriotic leader. Yeah, and when I went on to the stage, so I changed my dialogue and I said that I'm so passionate about uh, that I would not give my land to anyone, that even if uh, my hand is broken, but still I would go ahead and fight with the enemies today. <laughs> So you made it look as though your broken hand was a part yeah. of the costume, right? Or what you yes. were doing. Oh, that's yes. wonderful. Yes. Love it. Yes. Love it. Love it. Now we understand. Wonderful. Yeah. All right. So yeah, how do you see that memory connecting to who you are today? Uh, I think even today, I try to make a uh, maximum, uh, even if there is any, uh, any situation which may not look to be positive, but I try to do maximum uh, out of it. I try to see how I can take it uh, in a positive aspect. Yeah, that's wonderful. Can I offer an interpretation to the thought picture you created in my mind? Yeah, Yeah, please. Yeah, I do love the idea of you being able to adopt, uh, adapt 
to um, any situation and that is fascinating even you being here on the podcast right um being able to switch from your first language to your second language now which is english and um, being able to run so smoothly it's really fascinating to me that you would do that as well as your confidence right like you're speaking to a guy in trinidad you've never spoken to in your life right <laughs> <laughs> yeah and you have been feel, uh, making me feel quite comfortable so kudos to you as well <laughs> i appreciate that i appreciate that but puja if we fast forward to when you were 12 what was your favorite song oh uh, yeah so my favorite song was from a hindi movie i don't i'm not sure if you would have heard about it right. <laughs> uh it was something like um, it means like take one step at a time and you will reach your goals so love kadam it. kadam badhaye ja khushi ke geet gaaye ja love it so take one, every step a step in your life and be happy about it love that's it. the essence but that definitely connects right like you took took one step at a time right on that stage uh even though your hand was broken mm-hmm. and you made it right you got the goal you got the reward right Yep. <laughs> That's wonderful. All right, Pooja. Well, we've arrived at our destination, but before we get off of this time machine, there is a small declaration form, so it's yes or no, possibly a bit more. We're going to move pretty sure. quickly here. Are you ready? Yes. Pooja. I'm all set. Have you chosen someone to pass on your skills to? Yes, I have. Well, you said you're married, right? That's the reason you're in Singapore. Do you have children? Yep. Yes, I have two wonderful kids. <laughs> Do you believe in God? Absolutely. Do you I have an inner circle of friends? Yes, Do, I do. Do you watch TV for more than 3 hours a day? No, I don't watch TV. I'm not a very TV person. All right. What about screen time, the phone and or the computer? Is it more than 8 or less than 8 hours a day? Mm. sometimes it gets little more than 8 hours but i'm trying to restrict it to 5 hours all i'm right. trying towards that all <laughs> right all right if you had to share with us pooja your own unique real statement a statement that represents pooja talarsa talasira what would you say that is okay so there are few words now uh, which represent me so can i go ahead with the sure, words sure okay So there are five P's which represent Pooja Talisra. It is purpose, passionate, being persistent, have a plan, and I on progress. Hmm. So we we'll see the last one one more time. Is it progress? You said was the last one. Yes. Oh, yes. there we go. Wonderful. And then there's Pooja, right? <laughs> <laughs> the six P. Yes. <laughs> Fuji this yes, has been a, <laughs> This has been a great pleasure my <laughs> friend. Before you leave is there anything else Thank you'd you. like to share with our amazing audience? Yes, so um, I would like to say set the goals in life, dream and take action towards achieving those goals. Mm, love it. Pooja Talasera, this was such a great pleasure. Thank you for being on what is inspired by 12 minute convos with Angel Jones. Thank you so much for having me. You're It welcome. was wonderful. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you for being on 12 Minute Convos with Angel Jones. Stay tuned for more from our advertisers. Diabetes is a mountain pandemic. It's a disease that's not acute but chronic. Similar to this rhyming method, I have simplified the definition the signs and symptoms and the complications of diabetes for both adults and children in my books poems for patients a focus on diabetes and the abc's of diabetes for children these books are available on amazon.com and for more information you can visit my website poemsbyag.com that's poemsbyag.com <laughs>